we did is we, we took a look at what the constraints were, uh, what, what materials were available at VCU Health, um, as well as what other uh, current solutions were being uh, ideated at other places around the United States, and um, see what we could do to up throughput. And so uh, ultimately, we took inspiration from pit crews, uh, you know, with race cars uh, and the speed and efficiency that they have around uh, transitioning, um, as well as just general principles of uh, ways that we might increase surface area. And so we ended up increasing uh, throughput from 700 masks to 12,000. So um, that whole process took about two weeks uh, of very fast working and coordination between a number of different teams at uh, VCU, including uh, VCU Ventures, the Healthcare Innovation Consortium, Infectious Diseases, Supply Chain Management. <laughs> Uh, what is the efficacy of this method like to compared to say something like vaporized hydrogen peroxide which right now has been approved by the NHRA and NIH and FDA uh, for uh, decontamination and microfibron? Yeah, so we're kind of in new territory where uh, these single-use products were never uh, approved to be uh, reused and so um, as as people collect more data, we're learning newer and newer things by the day. Um, Stanford, University of Stanford published this, uh, they had some results out about how some of those various methods, uh, how effective they were, but also how they degraded the quality of these N95 respirators. And of the different methods, including um, steam and uh, say vaporized hydrogen peroxide, and, um, alcohol, uh, some of those, uh, Vaporized hydrogen peroxide, not so much. Hydrogen peroxide, not so much, um, but steam and um, alcohol deteriorate the masks a little bit more uh, than our chosen method. And so, uh, given what we had available at VCU, um, recommendations say that uh, they can be used. Not that they're approved, but that they can be used. Um, so, how many times can the mask once they uh, decontaminated? So a lot of it is dependent on the proximity and time changing. A lot of that is still to be optimized um, by how close the masks are placed to the light, uh, how long, etc. Um, current guidance uh, put out by this, uh, I think Stanford uh, Harvard and Berkeley and a number of other institutions are putting out kind of uh, guidelines and um, recommendations for the type of dose that can be used um, without deterioration in performance. And so uh, that suggests 10 to 20 cycles. Uh, hospitals in the U.S. Uh, and also the world, using the technology something that's quite easily available. Sure, yeah. Um, so given that the technology uh, really ultimately boils down to UVC, um, given what the, given the constraints that we had uh, with what are availability materials we had available to us, um, it it seems to have worked. And again, this is uh, improved upon by Nebraska. And as just as we've improved it, we could very well see other uh, places across the world improving upon it and also tapping, making use of this technology. Mm -hmm.